What's up guys? Welcome back to another Witch Shotgun Shell Patterns Best Part 6. If you haven't already, you guys, go back, watch 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, I'll put the playlist link in the description below if you guys want to go check those out. We've done a lot of shells, guys, so far. We're doing three each video, so this will be 18 different types of shells after today's video, so go check it out. Also, guys, I wanted to say thank you so much for all the new subscribers. It's blown up like crazy right now. The channel is like growing astronomically, so I appreciate that. Guys, for those of you that have been watching the channel, appreciate the support again and for all the comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. One thing I don't say enough is, guys, just so you know, we do have an Instagram and a Facebook page, so go check out Mid Valley Mercenaries on all those platforms. If you like this hat, that I'm wearing today and or you want to see some other options we got max 5 we got tan and brown go check out the link in the description below it will take you over to our website and you can see that we also have shirts uh, short sleeve long sleeve and we also got some decals for vehicles too so anyways without further ado let's get to shooting first off today is going to be herders I don't know if you ever heard of them I want to give a shout out to my brother Thomas he's recording today he picked these up at Cabela's in Reno. Yeah. So he picked these up at Cabela's in Reno because I have literally bought everything else out, every store within a hundred mile range of here. So now I know we've been shooting two shot this whole time, but today we're gonna shoot 12 gauge, three inch, three shot. So two of these are three shot, one's two shot. And it's one and eighth ounce, 15, 50 feet per second. So let's go ahead and try it out at 20 yards. This here's the herders at 20 yards. Looks good. As we know, I really haven't seen anything that doesn't look good at 20 yards, obviously, because it's close. So, but anyways, very spread out. I'm aiming, I'm not te technically aiming center mass of this actual, the ring. I'm actually aiming center mass of the burr. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Let's go ahead and shoot Fioki. Fioki. All right. I looked that up because I was like, I always call it Fiocchi. And actually, it's an Italian name. So, so Fioki. Today we're shooting the three inch two shot one and eighth ounce and the velocity on this is uh 1500 so if you got a close up and you can see that real good let's check it out so here's the fioki at 20 yards honestly my personal opinion i feel like it's a little gap and i know we can't really tell until you start getting out to 40 yards but when it doesn't look good at 20 it, it don't look too good at 40 which is weird because if you guys watch in the prior video, and I'll put it up here, you guys can click on that and watch the other pattern video. The filled and stream, which is Fioki, if you look on the bottom of the box, and thank you to some of the viewers that actually pointed that out, and I confirmed it is, it shot really well. But this, I don't know, man. And let's move on to the Kent Silver Steel. All right, next up, 20 yards is the Kent Silver Steel, guys. So what we got on this is three inch, three shot, but it's one and a quarter ounce. And the only reason, again, I'm confirming, guys, that we're kind of doing a variable shot. I know this is not 100%, you know, the best way that we'd like to do it, but we're just working with what we got. A little bit difference vary on the shot, and we know that affects things. But, hey, either way, I'm spending the money. You guys are getting to see what it patterns. So, hopefully, this benefits everybody. Let's try it out. Woo, that looks good. That looks really good. Okay, here is the, the Kent Silver Steel. That looks really good. To me, it is the best for sure. Now it is three shot, but so was the Herders. So the Herders was three shot too. So anyways, we'll compare them here in a second. We're gonna go ahead and move the target back to 40 yards. All right, now we're doing Herders back at 40 yards. And I wanna just let you guys know that this Herders is $11.99 a box at Cabela's. You might be able to find it cheaper somewhere else. Let's try it at 40 yards. Herders at 40 yards, not bad, uh, but not amazing. I've seen better ones. Kind of a lot of void over here. You know, like I said, we're not just counting with the birds. I am aiming center mass with the bird, but I'm also kind of looking at the general whole pattern as a whole. Um, plenty of hits on the bird for sure at 40 yards, so it's not bad. Let's go ahead and let's move on to the Fioki at 40 yards. Here's the Fioki at 40 yards. Not impressed. Like I said, we'll show you at the end, but I am definitely, definitely not impressed. Has big gaps so that this uh, this fioki was 10.99 a box uh, at cabela's so it is cheaper guys but that ain't too good let's go ahead and move on to the kent silver steel so here's the kent silver steel we're gonna do this at 40 yards this is 17.99 a box and, it, and remember it's a uh, three shot so let's see how this works out did really good probably the best at 20 yards let's see what it does at 40. so here's the kent silver steel it's definitely better than the last one we shot, the Fioki, but I mean, overall, I don't know. There's just some voids up here, but you still got 10, 8, 10 on the bird. 40 yards, remember though. 
but and the bird will be moving so I don't know let's go ahead and compare them all together okay here is the the herders at 20 yards look really good right okay now let's go ahead and look at the the fiocchi here's the fiocchi looks pretty good I don't think quite as tight as the herders now here is the Kent Silversteel. That looks legit. Now remember, Thomas can uh, come back out with the camera and pan out a little bit. Let's get all three of them in the same frame. This first one was three shot. This was two shot and this was three. So yeah, I know there's variances, guys, but if you want to just remove this out of the picture, to me, still, this Kent Silversteel blue, I would say I did, did a lot better to the to me than the herders, but the herders wasn't that bad for being the cheaper round, right? So now let's go look at the 40 yard ones. Here's the herders. It looks pretty good. That's 40 yards. I, I, I mean, that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. That's like 16 hits on the bird, okay? Now I'll move down to the Fiocchi. Uh, not like I said earlier, not too impressed. And 40 yards for the, the Kent Silver Stills. Okay, not bad not amazed amazing either so now we'll pan back out and get all three guys i'm gonna go ahead and vote believe it or not on the herders it's probably the best one to me personally the kent silver stills were better at 20 yards but even then the herders at 20 was really good too and they beat out the kents because this is the herders and you got way more hits and the pattern overall looks way better so again the cheaper shell wins so that being said we're gonna end this video right now we're doing our best to keep getting these going and i wanted to let everybody know a lot of people have been commenting on this but i did want to let you guys know that we are going to be doing kind of like a face-off so all of you guys that are watching this stay tuned because those are the ones that a lot of you guys are saying hey are you going to compare these yes i am and we're it's going to be a lot more in depth it's going to be the 30 inch circle we're going to be counting we're going to be down to the nitty gritty thanks for watching uh, part six of which shotgun shell patterns best and we'll see you guys later